Good evening, a very warm welcome. Our lead story is from New Delhi, where OpenAI has formally established an India entity and confirmed plans to open its first India office later this year. With local hiring underway, India is already ChatGPT's second largest market by users. And OpenAI says weekly active users here are up four times year on year. The company also counts India amongst its top five developer markets and home to the largest student user base on ChatGPT. Number two market by users for ChatGPT, four times jump in weekly active users in 12 months, top five developer market on the OpenAI platform, largest student population on ChatGPT worldwide. OpenAI will open a corporate office in New Delhi to build AI for India and with India and actually has begun hiring across partnerships, public policy, developer relations, academia, and enterprise. The on-ground team will basically focus on local product feedback, safety practices, education programs, and commercial partnerships with startups and large enterprises. So basically, here's what the first Indian employee, Pragya Mishra, told AIM in an exclusive interview. Just, we'll have to be just slightly patient because we're going to look at, you know, expanding our team, you know, doing the rest of it and really, uh, you know, looking at uh, specifically what teams require here, you yeah. know, hopefully, you know, sooner than later. Um, and at that point, I think, you know, uh, that person should certainly apply. But I think in the meantime, just really understand our models, play with it. Just, we'll have to be just... Thank you, Pragya, for that particular exclusive. And of course, LinkedIn confirms Pragya now will be joined by Sheila Ditya Mohanty and Akash Ayer, among others. And guess what? OpenAI has already started hiring for new roles, including account directors for digital natives, large enterprise and strategics. Of course, with the Delhi footprint, OpenAI says it will co-develop. India-specific features, strengthen ties with India AI and METI, and work with state and central agencies, universities, and industry to accelerate trusted, inclusive AI. So then the question actually begs, what's new for India? Well, chat GPT Go at 399 rupees per month, India only, by the way, a low-cost plan with more GPT-5 usage, extended image generation, file uploads, advanced data analysis, longer memory, and UPI payments. Well, they definitely didn't miss out on anything. Study mode, a guided step-by-step -step learning flow, personalized prompts, interactive questioning, and bite-sized instruction. Already gaining traction with students. Open AI Academy with India AI and METI, a nationwide AI literacy and skilling initiative, modules in Indic languages, educator programs, and community workshops. Indic language push in GPT-5. The latest flagship emphasizes quality and affordability for India use cases with improvements on Indic understanding and generation. Alongside this, two milestone events are all set to unveil. The first being OpenAI's first education summit in India this month. The second, Developer Day in India later this year to rally builders, startups and enterprises. So why now? Well, these are the factors which are influencing the answer to that question. Policy tailwinds. India's India AI mission is funding compute, data sets and skills. Delhi wants frontier innovation with safety and broad access. Market gravity. Nearly a billion internet users, price-sensitive consumers, and a massive developer base make India a must-win product lab. Clearly. Conversion unlocks. The 399 rupees per month UPI combo lowers friction from free to paid. While education and developer programs anchor long-term engagement, as far as the bigger canvas goes, co-building with the state. Expect pilots across education, 
health, agriculture, citizen services and DPI aligned use cases. Safety practices localized for schools, campuses and public sector needs. Competition in the arena. Well, Google's Gemini, Perplexity and Indian startups are moving fast. But OpenAI's differentiator, local price plus local presence plus India specific programs and a bet that GPT-5's unified systems, which is basically auto thinking when needed reduces user friction, enterprise readiness. Indian IT and BFSI are testing agentic workflows, secure data use and compliance rails. A Delhi office should speed procurement, support and co-development. What to watch out for then in the next 6 to 12 months? Organization and leadership. Who heads India operations? A very important question. Depth in policy, education, developer relations and enterprise. Indic quality for real. Third party checks on Hindi, Bengali, Tamil, Kannada. Performance for search, summarization and instruction following. Education outcomes. Teacher training. Curriculum integration, study mode efficacy and reach of OpenAI Academy beyond metros. Enterprise case studies, BFSI, healthcare, agritech and IT services. Measurable productivity and safety metrics. Developer velocity, credits, hackathons and India first features announced at Education Summit and Developer Day. Why it matters for students and educators? This is what study mode plus academy can democratize AI learning, especially outside tier one cities, which is so important for developers and startups. An on ground team promises faster feedback loops, India ready tooling, and potential ecosystem grants credits for enterprises and public sector. What will it unlock? Co building with safety, affordability, and Indic access could unlock real service delivery gains at scale. For OpenAI, India isn't just a big market. It's actually a stress test for inclusive AI, languages, prices, scale and governance, all at once. The headlines, well, they're bullish. Office, pricing, programs, but the test is delivery. Indic quality education outcomes, enterprise adoption, and safety by design at India's scale. That's important. If OpenAI ships on those, this won't be just a ribbon cutting. It'll actually be a template for how Frontier AI localizes for 1.4 billion people. Finally, OpenAI's strategy is crystal clear. It's actually wooing policy makers first. Developers and users will come later. At AIM, we are very thrilled they've landed in Delhi. Policy push and all that. Of course, lobbying goes along. Sure, but we are actually rooting for a very swift leap to Namma Bengaluru, where India's real innovation energy lives and thrives. So basically, if the priority is putting product into Indian hands, welcome to India and all the very best.